And you join us here live for the finals of the outraged 70s sitcom Vicar Playoff. On the left here, Colin Snodgrass at 42, a comparatively young 70s sitcom Vicar, and fast gaining the reputation of being thoroughly outraged at the slightest lapse in moral propriety. On the right, Desmond Winklebury, 64 years old, yet showing no signs of gaining any tolerance at all of anything outside the narrow confines of accepted 19th century Christian convention. And now, pouring the first tea of the competition, here's tonight's official Mrs. Valerie Bainbridge of Weybridge, a veteran of many occasions such as these. And as she takes her place at the curtains, final prayers have been said. And there goes the bell. And the first cups of the evening are raised to the lips. The sip is taken. Very tense. That's quite a challenging open sample. That's really rattled from the word bum there. A vulgar term for the buttocks or glutinous maximus. Let's have a look at the replay. And as to who had the edge, it's hard to call. Let's see how they've scored on the indignometer. That's a dead heat. Both men of the cloth scandalized. And that's three points apiece. Well, what an exciting start. Both men fairly evenly matched, although Winklebury a finalist for two years running. A favorite by an edge. And there's the bell. And let's see what is next behind the curtain. They take their sips. And here we go. And I must say at first glance there doesn't seem to be anything here to cause consternation. Oh, wait a minute though. And yes, they've seen it. There it is. Look, there are no wedding rings on this young couple's fingers. And that means their child was born out of wedlock. And I must say that really has rattled their vicarial cages. The institution of marriage, so important to these guys. Here's the replay look. And yes, Snodgrass just registering his disapproval of the bastard issue of an unblessed union a split second before his opponent. And here's the indignometer. And both at outraged, but that very slightly earlier demonstration of disapprobation from Snodgrass just edging the younger Paris leader ahead by half a point. Winklebury seven, Snodgrass seven and a half. So, frills and spills in tonight's electrifying standoff between these two dog collared titans. Join us for the decisive final round after the break. <laughs> and a warm welcome back to the outraged 70s sitcom Vickers playoff final. Well, this is edge of the pew stuff all right and right now I wouldn't like to lay a bet either way and if I did I'd do it very surreptitiously both these chaps very down on gambling there's the bell in this exciting finals of the outraged 70s sitcom vicar playoff and the last sip and well this is quite unusual can't see anything morally untoward here at all quite the opposite in fact of a, uh, goodness Gracious me! Well, we weren't expecting that! And this has sent the two 70s vicars into outrage overdrive. Oh, look at this! Have you ever seen tea spat in such a forceful manner? And they really don't know what to do with themselves. And Snodgrass, uh, particularly, seems to... Oh, oh my goodness me! He's, he's stood up and his trousers have fallen down! I don't believe it! Snodgrass's trousers have fallen down, and look at this, look at this, oh, somebody pinch me, and Snodgrass is, is looking faint here, and he's fainted straight into a Victoria sponge, goodness gracious, let's have a look at the replay, and look at the pressure, the sheer force behind both of those tea spurts, but look here, you can see Snodgrass, he's finished his tea spurt, he's up, and then down come the trousers, and have you ever seen anybody look so appalled? Just when you think that's enough, this happens straight into a fresh Victoria sponge. Winklebury knows the game is over for him. And so now a final look at the indignometer and goodness me, Winklebury has top marks but Snodgrass is off the scale. And so the winner of this year's 1970 sitcom Vigor Playoff, Colin Snodgrass.